Hello Pisces, this is your reading with me for the 1st to the 7th of November. I hope you are well. So we're going to have a look, see what's coming through for your reading and what messages, information and clarity I can give to you. So we're going to see. Yeah, so I also wanted to mention if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, information is also down below as well. They are done within 12 to 24 hours with me on the same day and also the... Um, intention items are on my website as well so definitely do check those out as well thousands of people have seen results with them and there's i and the whole review section is there but there's also items like bracelets and necklaces anklets pom-poms tassels there are also candles as well which many many people have seen um, results with too so you can actually check it out on the website but um, they are handmade hand poured plant-based safety tested um, and there's also candles and crystals and intention cards which you can put under your pillow your wallet or purse intention pouches etc you get my point but everything's meditated with and staged handmade which is just really the most special part about this is that this is not all like mass made you know what I mean <laughs> it's all very like personal and also intention based okay so Pisces let's have a look and see so yeah all the links are down below what does this period of time bring to you the first to the seventh so we have here the Queen of Pentacles, we have the Three of Wands, we have here the Four of Wands. Now, this goes to show that something that you've been waiting for is coming to fruition, okay? So, think about what you've been waiting for, because this is going to be different for everyone, right? But it's something that you've been waiting for, and you've been trying to figure out, like, oh, I'm just going to wait for it to happen, wait for it to happen, and here it is, with the Four of Wands, you finally get an answer. You finally get to know what this is all about, how it's worked out, whether you got an opportunity, whether you have been accepted, whether you whether it's going to be happening. So it's, it's it really varies from person to person. I definitely wanted to for sure mention that. But the Queen of Pentacles here shows more peace of mind in regards to this. So I definitely feel here that especially if you had certain plans made, this is that coming to fruition, or if you were waiting for an answer from someone, Here's that coming to fruition, right? I think this is really important, very, very important. So it just goes to show you as well um, that is very much so happening. So I just feel like there's just such a strong energy of you feeling very, very connected and happy um, within yourself. The Four of Wands is also an 1111 energy number, which I think is really important as well. That um, may be seen by a lot of you just when you're doing doing random things. You might be like, oh, 1111, 1111. 11. Is that like an ASR, um, ASMR moment? Maybe not. <laughs> okay, anyways, so we've got here the four of pentacles. So these two fours, now fours are very well known for being um, cards about stability, security, and a strong foundation. So definitely feel, sorry, that's not even the four of, why did I think of the four of pentacles? How strange. That's very strange. Anyways, that's the Eight of Pentacles. So anyways, but it doesn't necessarily matter because the Fours in Tarot literally do showcase, you know, stability and security, and that's what's happening here. Eight of Pentacles shows you working very, very hard. And the Eight of Pentacles is also such a powerful energy, which is, again, about you putting in as much effort as you can. I see some of you working super, super hard here, okay? And I see you seeing a result in regards to your hard work because some of you have felt literally as though... You've either been losing money, you've been out of pocket, like just not having enough money to do certain things you want, you were just working so hard, but you feel like, oh, nothing's happening. Well, guess what? The Two of Pentacles here shows there's a bit more financial stability in this week, which I think is really interesting. And I also feel here as well that some of you are really considering what you want to do with your career or your work. You're thinking, maybe I should go towards something that might generate a little bit more income. Maybe I should, you know, do something else on the side. These are all thoughts that you're having as well in the week of the 1st to the 7th, which I think is, again, very significant. You're thinking, okay, like, should I take myself away from this and go towards a new, ah, new opportunity, right? The Eight of Cups here is about retreating, 
thinking about other opportunities, thinking about other directions that you can potentially be going in and uh, perhaps changes that you want to make for your future. So there's a lot that you're thinking about, but I think the most interesting thing here is that there seems to be someone romantically that has caught your eye, okay? So whilst you're trying to like figure out all of these things with career and money and work, and some of you may even be studying, you're like trying to figure all of that out, there is someone here that has really caught your eye romantically, and this is someone that you are thinking a lot about as well. So that's really interesting. Some of you may start to think about this person in November, especially if you're single and you're thinking, I don't think about anyone Moonlight. Well, you might do in this week, um, but some of you already may have someone that you're thinking a lot about romantically anyways. But the Hierophant is such a powerful energy, which is this Taurus energy. It's so strong, so powerful, so significant, because this energy really does go to show um, just such a strong vibe in relation to there being a lot in, in, in the sense of feeling stable um, and things like that. So I just feel here as well that there's just so much um, in terms of like the truth, you know, coming out it's that I feel like there's someone here that can be like, hey, look, I've always really liked you. I've always really cared about you. I think you're a great person, right? The truth here um, is coming out, especially with the um, five of pentacles. You're starting to recognize that maybe certain situations don't really give you as much as you recognize. And so now you're starting to think, should I be doing something else? Should I be taking myself to a better place? You know, these friendships may not be giving me as much happiness as I thought so, you know, it's like leaving me in a situation where I can't do things for myself, you know, that can also be the five of pentacles, now you're recognizing that actually, do you know what, for my personal stability, maybe I need to do other things, or go towards other scenarios and situations to make myself feel more at peace, and that is the eight of cups, the eight of cups is an energy of retreating and taking care of yourself, and that's what I see with the king of cups, is that you emotionally want to do what's best for you, so it's a pretty, like, intense reading in the context of so much happening, so much going on, but the truth coming out, right? Something that you've been waiting for in terms of an answer, in terms of knowing, and then fueling that also with things that you're not so happy about in your life that you want to make changes towards are things that are going around in your mind where you're thinking, what do I truly want, right? What do I truly want to do? And there's so much more coming your way. See, we have the Six of Cups here as well. You're thinking about your future. You're thinking about how it is that you want to do things, how it is that you want to, you know, grow in that, in that sense. You want more peace of mind. I feel like a lot of you may be meditating, okay? Meditating, practicing um, spirituality, perhaps doing certain rituals here and there. Definitely feel like the Four of Swords is about you wanting to maintain your personal peace, which I think is, again, just so important. We have the Fool, right? The Fool is about new beginnings, new chapters. I feel like so many of you are fed up of being in the same cycle that you want to create a change. You want to build something. You want to do something for yourself, right? And I feel like that's definitely one of the things that I see is that you you feel so like, oh, I'm just working hard, I'm just doing this, but I'm not seeing a result. And that is what is triggering some kind of change here as well in this week where you may have some thoughts where you're thinking, actually, do you know what? I need to do this for myself. Better do it now instead of later. It's best I do it at this time rather than later. So the Two of Swords is definitely an energy here of peace, harmony, balance, um, but also at times feeling overwhelmed and indecisive and that's okay that's okay if you feel indecisive and overwhelmed at times because ultimately there is so much more joy you know coming your way and I think that that again is just so so important um in so many ways especially with the strength card as well oh strength card in the hermit look at that This is an energy where your life turns 360 degrees. No, actually it turns, no, 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 it turns 180 degrees. There we go. 360 basically means that you end up in the same position that you were in, right? You, you, you just go round, but you end up kind of at the same point, having done everything. 180 is a change. It's like a turnaround. Yeah, so 180. Your life turns 180 degrees. That's what I want to say, right? Things seem to be getting better. You start to have realizations. You start to have more peace. You start to recognize certain paths that you want to go down that are different, that are unique, that are 
um, you know, so different from anything you've done before, the four of wands and the three of wands. Again, there is a change because you have an answer for something that you've been waiting for. And so this is kind of like that incoming information that is going to happen that is really going to change things all along. You may have someone that has a crush towards you or you have a crush towards someone. Well, that changes the game of things, right? Changes everything. Strength card, you feel much more stronger, but still sometimes a bit indecisive in terms of things you're doing, but you're you're trying to trigger this new path for yourself. And that I think is, is really, really, you know, significant and very, very strong in the grand scheme of things. So that's another thing that we definitely see here. Okay, so I've got here the Mercury Realms edition two cards. We're going to see what's happening for you. Okay, so we have here text message. Okay, so yeah, you may be getting a text message in regards to something you've been waiting for. Um, there's definitely some kind of text message I see incoming, but I also feel here as well um, that there's just such a such a powerful energy of things changing, right? It may be that there is a text message that you get that really just does change things in terms of you receiving an opportunity, um, receiving you know some information that actually is. I'd say that it gives you more peace, okay? So that's that's the other thing, but it gives you truth in terms of how you can move forward and things like that. Now, don't dread this week and think to yourself, oh my God, text message, text message. I think it's a positive message, if anything, so just keep that in mind. Um, but this is this is what I'm seeing, right? So it, things change with this with this message, with this information, this incoming info that you get. But this is what we have. So I really hope that this helps you. I mean, things are changing in so many areas, which is why things change 180, right? There's emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, a lot is changing in your mindset as well. So that's why things are really changing. So that is your reading with me. Pisces. If this resonated with you, let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video and you want to claim it, you know, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below how it resonated. Don't forget to check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, and of course, intention items, which are on my website as well. And definitely do take care. And I also have TikTok and Instagram. If anyone wants to follow me on there, feel free to do so. <laughs> take care, everyone. Bye.